What's up developers and problem solvers, Rod checking in, wanted to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to talk about the fastest way you guys can become a PHP developer and really get to your goals in life as far as just your career and also in your life, guys. So let's start with the most important thing, guys. PHP tutorials is not going to help you become a developer. I said that right. A PHP tutorial alone is not going to help you become a developer. A lot of you guys see all of this vast amount of knowledge online as far as just these tutorials, these videos, these labs, and you're just consuming the mess out of it, learning any and everything about PHP, which is great by the way. I'm glad you're doing that, but don't do it too much, guys. You only want to get the fundamentals. The best way to become a PHP developer is to solve problems using PHP, guys. This is the best way. And when you officially become a PHP developer, people are going to pay you to solve problems using PHP. That's when you are an official PHP developer. Before then, you're just a coder that's learning PHP, guys. And I want to explain how to get to this point so that you can start receiving money as a PHP developer. But before we get started, guys, Support the channel, guys, and I got several ways you can do that. First of all, we got some free goodies for you. Seven step guide to really help you become a PHP developer. Links below for that, so go ahead and sign up for that. Also, if you want access to our community, we have links below for that. If you sign up for our seven step guide, you get access to our community also. If you signed up for both of those, we have premium courses below, guys. We have courses dealing with PHP, a lot of different other things to help, help you start, regardless of what stage of your career in. So guys, go ahead links are below for all the goodies so that you can support the channel and really take your uh, PHP career to the next level that being said guys let's get back to the content so guys a lot of us are afraid of being a PHP developer and we subconsciously just continue to learn how to code with PHP in the tutorials. The reason we do this is we get this false sense of confidence, false sense of we're doing something so we just continue to just plug away at the tutorials. It's not until you go beyond that you start getting feedback from external sources to let them know are you doing good or are you doing bad. You know outside of course or a quiz obviously but we're talking about that's gonna be paying you money and really gonna start your career guys and a lot of us are afraid of that and it's okay all of us experience that uh, that fear you know especially at the beginning you're doing this for the first time you don't know where it's gonna go you can't get no good advice guys it's really gonna be important that you first of all understand how long you need to do tutorials which I kind of explained to you learn once you know the fundamentals you know the language you don't even have to know everything guys just enough to, to, to uh, solve your uh, sorry about that guys just enough to know how to solve your current problem I need to take this I don't know who this is but uh, I'll just I'll just call them back but yeah I'm not cutting anything we're gonna keep this in here guys but like I was telling you guys before it's so important that you understand when to not continue tutorials. It's so important that don't get caught up in that rabbit hole. So let's start doing projects as fast as possible. Let's start doing projects that's related to the industry that you want to work in. I'm pretty sure you guys have already uh, went on job recruiting websites. If you haven't already, you need to, but go on job recruiting websites in your local area that you want to work for and find PHP developer jobs. If you can't find PHP specific developer jobs, start with web developer developer jobs or software developer jobs anything closely related to PHP is possible on that lambda stack guys this is gonna help you guys really take your PHP skills to the next level and know what skills to learn what do they want in a tech stack all of this stuff is important to become a PHP developer guys I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you guys but this is gonna be required the bar to be a PHP developer is raised they have options now this is not 
not the uh, early 2000s, late 90s, where they was solely depending on local developers to develop their software for different companies. Now they got access to uh, uh, developers remotely, overseas, just all over the place, guys. So you have to be on your A game. And the best way to do this is to find out what people want locally. So that's number one. Number two, let's start um, uh, writing or solving problems with PHP for these specific companies you want to apply for. This is going to do two things for you. This is going to put things in perspective that you need to learn, and this is going to also help you build your resume. It's going to be focused to those specific companies. I know it's some work. It's okay, but it's going to put you on the top of the food chain or top of the options when it comes to who they're going to pick to come in for their interview. You have a custom resume based off of what they need, and you have projects to back that up. Guess who's going to be number one priority or number one prospect on that interview? You. So that's the way it's going to pay off to be able to do this guys you don't have to do it for all of them at least your top three i would say your top five and that's going to help you guys really stand out during the interview process to increase your chances to become a php developer faster guys number two all your work will be in vain if you don't present yourself right as a uh, php a valuable php developer in their job interview a lot of you guys has been down this tutorial rat hole forever. You haven't applied for any jobs and you finally get the courage to apply for a job with a halfway decent resume. And then you wonder why you can't get a interview because the resume is crap, guys. It does is not focused. It's not dealing with the industry. It just shows a lot of labs. You look like a college student. Even if you got experience, you can still have this problem because it's not focused. They got, I don't know, 200 resumes, 100 resumes, all of them dealing with general development nothing dealing with industry specific stuff yours is just one of those 200 that's still in that stack that's gonna get ousted you want a specific resume guys you want a focused resume that's dealing with PHP that's dealing with their industry solving projects your resume should be communicating that you can do all of this programming work for months and then can't get an interview because you don't communicate your uh, value effectively on this resume I have to hit that home for you guys I made this same mistake too I went to school for four years and I Apply for jobs thinking that I was going to get it. You know, they come here, they want me, they're going to bow down to me because I'm the best developer in the world. And I couldn't even get a job because my resume was crap. And people who had far less experience than me was a, hot, a lot less qualified. They end up getting a job. So that's not <laughs> what you want, guys. That's not what you want, guys. You're going to lose. So, so that you save all that work and really leverage that work and don't waste it, you got to make sure you communicate that effectively, guys. And we could, we, we discussed that in my seven step guide. So if you want more details about that, go check out my seven step guide. Links below in the description box. Sign up for that and we kind of talk about that resume a little bit more. And um, last but not least, guys, have a set of PHP problems to solve that specifically for that client or that business this applies for everybody guys it, it's so vital because we got so many people out here just trying to generally learn how to code they're applying for resumes uh, applying for jobs they they really not qualified but what they're doing is uh, getting in the way of the valid software developers who got experience but the problem is is the valid developers are not their resumes are not standing out towards all of the garbage that's out there guys we got to get that up so that we can get the attention of the right people obviously there's multiple ways to get attention i talk about this in later videos and even in my seven step guide but at the end of the day guys if you don't stand out from all the rest of the garbage out there you can have all the you can be the best php developer in the world and it can go to waste and nobody cares because you didn't present your skills in a way that can help life easier for other people's clients and really stand out guys so that being said guys i made a list of stuff here i'm looking down to make sure i covered everything so first of all guys you do not get paid to write code you get paid to solve problems that's number one so always present your problems in a way so that you can become a php developer number two don't waste all your work in vain let's get that um, let's get that resume 
communicating your value, your projects, how you can solve specific problems for them and get started. And number three is guys, problem solving, problem solving, problem solving. Problem solving, <laughs> it's so important to problem solve. If you don't problem solve, you're not gonna get that job. That's how important problem solving is, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, do you agree with me? Comment below, let me know. If you disagree with me, comment. Let's, let's start a conversation below. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my content. I want my numbers to go up more, guys. That little red button down there. So, like I was saying, guys, earlier, uh, if you want to, well, if, support the channel. <laughs> we got several different ways you can support the channel. Um, join our seven step guide below and then you can start uh, getting that free guide that's going to help you take your PHP development career to the next level and sign up for that. Also by signing up for that seven step guide you get access to our community and like minded people and we really set, uh, answer your questions so that you can become a PHP developer. And if you already signed up for both of those guys, try my pre premium courses out. Links are below. We got PHP courses. We got a lot of different courses that's going to help you in whatever stage of your development career you're at. So like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.